Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Chris and today we're going to be adding component to your WordPress website. Right, but what is component? Component is an embeddable cryptocurrency calculator that you can add to your website with a small snippet of code. Um, it's a really cool little free tool that yeah we've been working on for a little while now and it's now available to the public and uh, yeah I'm really excited for it. The um, keywords like Bitcoin price, Ethereum price get googled and searched for millions of times every month um, and this is a really easy way component provides a really easy way um, to yeah, meet that demand answer those queries and provide a little bit of value um, to websites that are dealing yeah, with cryptocurrencies so really excited and it's super easy to install um, to get started simply head over to component.com and either click on this button here or um, scroll to this part here customize your component and you'll kind of see that you can play around with this. So on the right hand side, this little white box is your component. Underneath you can see the code. And then on the left hand side here, you can see kind of the settings, your customization options. Um, and we have a, yeah, a ton of different options to try out. Um, at the moment you can see we have a light mode. Um, we can change it to dark. Um, we can increase the size of the shadow, make it smaller, add the medium, make it perhaps large. Um, change the font family. So if we don't like sans serif, we can pick monospace. We can pick the different kind of units that we have. So by default, you can see here it's one, but if we wanted it to be um, yeah, 10 or 100, we can easily make that as well. We can also fix the units so they're no longer editable. Um, by default, you can see, you can just kind of click and type away. Um, this is particularly valuable for kind of smaller tokens with BTC typically having one as a default is totally fine, but you might have a a community or a website um, that's dedicated to one specific token um, that might be worth a little bit less. So in that case, uh, yeah, it might make sense to have kind of a higher yeah, default unit than one. Um, as you can see, you can also pick your default token. Um, so here it's BTC is obviously the most, um, yeah, the most popular one by quite a bit. But if you have, for example, a, a Ripple community, or if you have um, an EOS community or you have a Stellar community or some sort of website that is specific to one token, um, then you can set the default token to that. And you can also fix those tokens. So say you don't actually want to provide the exchange rate of any other digital asset, um, then you can fix the token here and you can see here the option to change the token has disappeared. Um, and this is a super cool feature because yeah, you might have a website or any kind of web asset that's dedicated to one specific token. And in those cases, you really want the component to seem as native as possible, right? And if it starts off with BTC and you can also you know, check thousands of different uh, token prices, then it doesn't seem quite as native. Whereas in this case, it really does. Like it really does seem like it's something that you created and you're providing very specially for your users. Um, and I think that adds a lot of value to it as well. You can naturally also pick the fiat. Um, so by default, it'll be USD but you can pick uh, the Euro, you can pick GBP. You can also fix the fiat. Um, yeah, if, if you feel like, yeah, you wanna make component look as native as possible and you know that the vast majority of your users are coming from the US or coming from Europe or coming from Great Britain, um, then this is a really cool feature that allows you to kind of, yeah, set whatever fiat you want as a default and make component look as native as possible. And finally, we have decimals. Um, so coming back to kind of the smaller tokens, um, XOP is not particularly small, but Stellar, for example, is a little bit smaller. Um, there's one or two really kind of uh, tokens that have a much smaller market cap, and for them, the price might be not 0 0.01, it might be 0 0.001 or something like that. And then if you only have two decimals, then it would just appear as, yeah, the value is $0. Um, so you can add up to four decimals here, which is really valuable, not just for the smaller tokens, but also for kind of tokens of all sizes, because it does provide just a far more accurate representation of the price uh, at any given time. Cool. Um, yeah, so now we've kind of played around with it. We've seen the power of component. We can see what we can change. We can see what we can set as defaults, what we can get rid of, um, how we can customize it. And we've kind of let our imagination kind of fly a little bit. The next step is really simple. Simply click on this yellow button here, get your API key. And the next step will be that you will be taken to this registration form. And again, super simple, just enter your name, enter your email address, and then very importantly, enter the website URL that you're planning on adding component to. Might seem super simple, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be surprised when that happens, that will happen. Uh, that somebody puts in a, a different URL, uh, and then the component actually API token will be valid for the URL that it was intended to. So do make sure that you put in uh, the website URL that you're planning on using component on. Right, um, then you click on get started after you've entered your password and confirmed it. Um, then you get a really kind of normal uh, email confirmation uh, email. Simply click on the link, confirm your email, and then next you get taken to the dashboard. Right, 
Um, so the dashboard is where you actually get to make your component, right? So we've kind of played around with it before. Now you actually get to make it the way you want it to appear on your website. In my case, I'm going to be implementing it twice on my WordPress website, once on a kind of quite generic informational landing page you see here, just kind of everything you need to know about cryptocurrencies. And then here we're going to have the calculator. And then a second time uh, in the sidebar of my blog. And I think that will really increase the visibility um, and really kind of add to the user experience, no matter whether they land on the landing page or on the, um, on the blog. Cool. And uh, yeah, so... Kind of with that in mind, let's start designing component. So we have the, the light mode at the moment. I think I'm going to go with the dark mode. Um, I'm also going to pick a different font. I'm going to go with monospace. I'm going to reduce the shadow to medium. Um, I'm also going to hide the refresh button. Uh, units that can stay at one token. I think BTC is fine. I think BTC is by far the most the most popular, so that can stay. Um, fiat. I think the majority of people that are coming to my site are probably from. Uh, probably from the US, so I'm just going to pick USD here. And then result, two decimals, I think that's fine. So, um, yeah, perfect. So this is what it will look like on your website if uh, these are the customizations that you've picked. And, yeah, when you're sure that you like it, simply copy the snippet to your clipboard and head over to your WordPress website. Right, here we are. So if you're like me, which um, in most cases you are because... Yeah, most people are using some sort of visual editor. Um, so a theme or a plugin um, that will allow you to simply kind of yeah, drag and drop elements and add elements at will. Um, if that's the case, then all you need to do is you need to add a raw HTML element or an HTML element of some sort. So in my case, I've got the salient theme installed here. So I'm going to click on the plus button and then I can go here to raw HTML. Perfect. Now it's just a matter of pasting in the code, saving the changes, and then moving this down to where I want it, which is in between here, and then update. Okay, that seems to have worked. Let's refresh. Perfect, and there it is. So now I have component installed on my landing page. As you can see, it took about two seconds. Um, and yeah, super simple to do, and uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. Next, let's have a look at um, installing component uh, in the sidebar. This is, again, super simple. Um, we've already copied the, clip, uh, the, the snippet to our clipboard. So let's head over to, um, maybe just in case you're new to WordPress, you'd have to go here on the left-hand side to Appearance and then to Widgets. So click on that. And you'll be taken to this kind of section here. So you'll see the blog sidebar, page sidebar, etc. Um, if you want to install it on your blog, then you really want the blog sidebar. And again, it's simply a matter of adding custom HTML. So drag the, the element over here, and then you'll get this little input. Paste the code, give it a, a snappy title. And save. Perfect, that seems to have worked. And uh, let's now refresh. Okay, I think we need to then, ah, I forgot to publish. Let's update. Perfect, so there it is. Took a, took a little bit longer than expected, but yeah. <laughs> so that's quite important. Um, when you're, uh, after you've installed the snippet and you've given it a snappy title, save, and then you need to actually publish a blog post. Um, so go to any blog post, doesn't matter which one, simply click on the update button, and that will make it actually appear in your sidebar. Um, so yeah, super simple to do. You can again, just this is, yeah, you can see it's live. Um, if you want to change anything about your component, so say you want to change it to a, white, a light theme or you want to change the default BTC or whatever, um, simply head over to your dashboard, make the changes, copy the snippet, and just do kind of paste it in again into the raw HTML element um, like we did just there. Um, cool. So that's it for today. It's, it's, um, component is currently free. You get up to 1,000 requests for free. After that, simply get in touch and we'll figure something out. Um, yeah, we'd be really excited to kind of hear your feedback on this. So if you do try it, if you do have feedback, please get in touch by our kind of Twitter or, or, or the blog, leave a comment. 
um, or yeah, it would be really great to hear from you. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your time and uh, yeah, happy calculating. Thank you very much.